shop. Chevy tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop. Fresh paint job, fresh inside. Do the outside frame and trunk wide. All the real things, do it right good. Lean back right hand on the pine wood. Pine wood, pine wood. Lean on the outside, cream on the inside. Ice cream paint job. Got screens on the dash, what you say by the bill. Got a house by the wayside. Yeah, I'm living like that. If you win it, I'ma hit it, flip it, rub it, dump it, smack it, look back at it, I'ma add it. Futuristic, would ya? Put your two legs on my wooden kiss it, could ya? See yourself with a nigga working harder than nine to five. Get a ten to six, two jobs to survive. Or do you need a ball up so you can shop and tear them all up? Drag, take your friends, but I caught ya. If you couldn't see yourself with a nigga when his dough is low, baby girl, if this is so, can I get a fuck you to the bitches from all of my niggas who don't love hoes? They get no dough. Clap. 
Thank you, thank you for the sub, Belmere. <laughs> but hello, hello. Uh, we're back to my stupid bullshit of reading and clicking on crap and making bad choices. <laughs> so, hopefully, I don't have to. I know, okay, there, there is a lot of. Eh, there's a bit of reading, but not a whole lot of heavy reading. It all is because it's Star World. Hi, Doc! Uh, because it's cyberpunk world, there's a lot of fucking world building reading. Um, yeah, but we get many choices. It is, it, when I booted up the game last, which is Citizen Sleeper, pretty, really pretty. Um, when I booted it up last, it did give me kind of like, very, like have very heavily inspired by probably the cyberpunk uh, tabletop role-playing game because you do get to choose a class, you do get, like, there are choices, but the choices are all in dialogue, which cyberpunk is quite a bit of um, role-playing. So th this, this very, this all lends to each other very well. So if you're thinking of leaving D&D because of all the corporate bullshit that's been happening, think about cyberpunk. That isn't like the Cyberpunk 2077 game, because that 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 game is not what the only definition of cyberpunk. There are other things that are cyberpunk. But also the sound the 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 game sound is really quiet. Let me know if I need to turn it up, because it is supposed to be just very soft ambiance. Um, yeah. So we will turn up if needs to. Um, there is a tutorial at the beginning, if I recall correctly, which I quit out every time because I was like, nope, not here for the tutorial. So we will, we will actually go through the tutorial this time and I will actually understand what the fuck I have to do. Empty, empty. Ooh, okay, first choice. Who the fuck do you want to be? A machinist? I read that as a machinist for a hot second. A machinist repairs and modifies automated systems using industrial resource extraction. Sleepers assigned to machinist work are usually diligent, careful, and structured people. That does not sound like me. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm assuming the skills come in handy at some point. Don't. This is the problem with any character creation. I don't know what to pick. I want. I want to make OP, but OP is not fun. And like. <laughs> Uh, the the main the first one it opened on is operator. An operator works with drones and high precision remote machines to perform complex tasks from a distance. Sleepers assigned to operator work are usually cerebral and precise people. Why are we precise? <laughs> I am far from precise. Uh, minus one in endurance, plus one in interface. Okay. Extractor. Extractors work on resource extraction, often in hard vacuum environments. Sleepers assigned to extract work are often confident, self-sufficient, and have a high level of endurance. But then you approach problems with awareness. You do not approach that. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> less thinky, just more dewy. Um, I bet there's only three. Right? Less thinky, more dewy. I, I like... <sighs> See, and now I'm just looking at stats and it's like, what do I actually want? I have no endurance. I have no strength. Eh, use strength and strength does not use strength or strength because it's negative. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going with extractor. It's cool. Well, that was neat. And I think there was something like dice mechanics in this. Did I read it? No. So we have to pay attention to that one that comes up. Watch me accidentally skip right through it like last time. Because I would. 
Okay, the first thing you become aware of on waking is the disconnect, the delay between thinking and feeling. Between wanting to act and act it, what? Between wanting to act and acting, minor, almost imperceptible, but always present. Hey! Posture check, I'm reading. What I read is the worst posture ever. <laughs> It's at its worst when waking, when yourself has spent many dark hours recalling what it felt like to be real, to be a person, to be a, in a body that was indisputably yours. Huh? This is giving me existential crisis already. Okay. Uh, do we want to think of that body? Forget that. I kind of want to forget that body, to be honest. Forget everything would be great. Um. Da, 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 da. Let's go with... If you think about it, will you connect to it more? Yes. A leap into a cold lake on a hot day. The sting of blood welling from a fresh wound. The friction of a fingertip. All of a sudden, the memories are closer than you thought. Blurring as you approach until you can't tell one from the other. Okay? The cold slips in behind and around- What?! <laughs> behind and around you and sensations fade out of reach. Perhaps you should be thankful for the dull nature of this new body, given your current circumstances. The walls of the container feel immediately present, cold, hard at your back and face, cramping your limbs. Did I die?! You resist the desire to stretch, knowing that the- that the claust- Whoa, that the claustrophobia comes next and retreat a little from your central nervous system. It isn't painful, not like you used to know pain at least. Hey, hey. <laughs> this, this, this seems grim. In emergency mode, pain is a message delivered with efficiency and ease, a reminder that harm is imminent. There is no insistent throb, no trembling nerves, just a warming delivered with banal quality of a digital notification. Right now, there are thousands of- Okay! <laughs> I know! I don't like it! It's giving me actual existential crisis! <laughs> remember the plan, remember the others. Remember the plan? Do I want to be more human? No, remember the plan. Because I- d Nope. You mostly remember that it wasn't a good plan, but when your options were limit- But then your options were limited. And once you got the itch to get out, by any means possible, it was either that plan or something much worse. It was at least simple. Collapse the shaft, drift away in the chaos, slip into cargo processing, seal yourselves into containers, then just hope the freighter left before you were missed. Okay. Some were lost in the shaft, others never found the meeting point, only a few made it to the containers, but the freighter, as far as you know, left. That feels like enough, enough to know that you might no longer be on that grim and heartless rock. Even if, in the airless hold of a freighter, you might freeze solid long before you reached any destination. We're just gonna try to rest. But you are restless. <laughs> it has been a long time since you left. Surely weeks, maybe months. You are dully aware of damage to your legs, your right arm. You have been reserving energy as much as possible, but your body has still needed to shut down many of its systems to protect you. You have spent much of that time asleep, knowing that anything else would be impossible to endure. Lovely. You feel the weight of the impossibility begin to gather. It is time to sleep again, to nudge this false body into inducing delta waves in your emulated mind, and once again recoil into a dream of when you were once a person. Well, interesting. Time passes. The cold creeps further in. I, I feel dead. <laughs> you feel something. Warmth. Not true warmth, but the indication of its presence. Your joints are released from their rigor. Sound, too. Everywhere. Screeching and shivering so loud that your body ducks your hearing to protect its sensors. Whoa. <laughs> then light. What is the cold? Softer and softer until in a haze of dirty yellow, a figure appears. You are out. Huh? Is that what dreaming is like as an AI? That's actually neat. That is a cool interpretation. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I guess that's like the only... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need those. That's the only place I can go to. Dragos. A pragmatic and private self. Okay. It's been a few hours since Dragos pulled you from the container. You sit huddled in the corner of its, his scrapyard, swallowed in the reflective folds of a mylar blanket. You are slowly coming back to consciousness, back to life, and you stare at the ornately curving element of an improvised heater. You are surrounded by angular, incoherent lumps of ships, some corroded beyond recognition, others still carrying glassy wounds along their edges where a plasma arc once sliced them apart. Nice! 
As you trace your shapes with fogged eyes, you hear a voice. So, sleeper, you all thawed yet? I don't know who you are. I'm assuming your dragon's talking to you, but like, nope. Never seen one of you come in like this. New frames must have been, must have better perseverance than some zero back. Wow, English is gonna be a struggle today. <laughs> seen more than a few of you frozen in solid to hull plates or inside outer logs in my time. They weren't so lucky. Thanks. Dragos comes into focus, shrouded in makeshift tech. His headset with its glinting eyes, the mark of a drone operator. On his shoulder, one of his symbiotically linked drones perches. It's iris irising? Irising eye locking you with an unflinching stare? Are those words? Is, I it's, is irising a word? Last living sleeper that came through this yard was a while ago. They didn't last long. Thanks. You struggle to read his expression beneath the tech, but he seems lost in memory for a moment, or perhaps he is just figuring out what to do with you. Thank God! I thought it was crazy! I was like, Iverson can't be a word! That's not a verb, it's a noun! Um. Yeah, I'm curious what happened. He ignores your question. I won't ask what led you to do it, to sell yourself to a corporation, and I suppose you know you can't go back. Your old body, that's theirs now, and you are just software. A rogue emulation illegally possessing corporate property. Okay? <laughs> Googling says Iris is a word, but you're ignoring. Okay. But, okay. Actually, is it. Wait, does it mean what I think it means? Like, part of the I? Because, huh? You nod along, you remember biometrically signing the forms, the cold floor on your feet as you pad to the sleeper cells, the promise of a life off-world. But as you do, you get the now familiar sensation that these aren't your memories. These are things you know, but not things you feel. You are no longer that person. You are an offshoot. A copy. Um, what you won't know is what's ahead. At least the last one did it. There's no easy way to put it. That body of yours is falling apart. It's the same for any sleeper who makes it out. S and Arp wants to protect their property, but if they can't keep a hold of you, well then no one can. Irising of an aperture typically that of a lens open or closed in the matter of an iris or iris diaphragm. Interesting! It's a word! What the fuck? Okay. You remember that too, or at least rumors of it from the other sleepers. Planned. Why can I not read obsolence? Holy crap, my brain was just like, there's extra word letters in this. No, planned obsolence. A built in dependence on the regularly administered supplements that were part of your routine. Stop taking them, and your body begins to shut down. Separate from your emulated mind. Separate from your emulated mind. How long has it been? How long do you have? Eh. <laughs> this. This also sounds like something else that I have um, played slash read that is not streamable and may or may not will admit us on air. But for now, Sleeper, you are one of the lucky ones. Dragos glances up and away towards the glassy drone of dome of the yard. The eye is the best place you could be right now. Yeah, I want to know. What's the eye? The station. You'll see soon enough. Dragos impatiently shifts his weight. Look, I've got things to get be getting on with. He trails off. There's an old freight container I've been using as storage out in the stacks. We haven't been pulling in much valuable scrap these days, so you are welcome to it. Something wells up inside of you. Emotion. Fatigue. You shakily get to your feet. Mm-hmm. Alright, you head on you head on up there. You look like you need some rest. And with that, Drago stalks back into the wrecks. His drone's already converging on a rusting hulk. Plasma flashes, silhouetting his sp spindly figure as he returns to work. Oh, and uh, tutorial. Okay, okay. Welcome to Erlen's eye life on the cycle. Uh, life on the eye runs in cycles during which. Okay, that cycles like a day. Explore areas and city. Yeah, yeah. At the end of each cycle, you need to head to your current home to rest. Resting will move time forward. Yep, 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 yep. Hi, Dai! Welcome to reading about in a cyberpunk setting. Head to the empty location, empty container location to rest and end the cycle now. Okay. Where is it? Empty container. That's my home. Do 
Did I have to go to bed? Didn't I just wake up? Okay. We're, we're going. We're doing. <laughs> we're in a cyberpunk. We haven't... I'm having existential crisis already in this game. It's making me think about life. <laughs> and, and, and simulations. It's great. You wake up curled up in the corner of the container and begin slowly assembling the world around you. After all this time, you still find this body, the one you wake in now, strange and disjointed. Its message is readable, but somehow wrong. You sit up, pulling the mylar blanket close against the cold. Here you are, on this ruined station, millions of miles from anyone you know. Are you still in the system? Did any of the others make it out? It's impossible to know. After all this, what matters? <laughs> okay. Go lurk lurk. Why why are we giving me like life questions? What matters? Escaping, getting answers, building a life, honestly? I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just here to do things. Do I want to escape? What is there do I know okay, is I would escape if there's a place to escape to. Are we talking about like deading? Cause if it's dead <laughs> What actually matters? Which matters more to me? This is making me choose all these fucking questions. You know what? Have fun. Maybe you did get lucky. Find yourself here. Maybe here, on the edge of everything, there's a life for you to build. Before you can build anything, you'll need to learn to survive. Lovely! Maybe if you can do that, you can make a life for yourself. Dragos has left a few comforts in the container. The mylar blanket, the bedroll you slept on, a canister of water, a makeshift electric stove, and some faded sach sachets of some desiccated powder. You thumb the powder power stud of the stove and begin to boil the water. The contents of the sachets smell like... They smell sachets different ways? No, they didn't. The contents of the sachets smell like damp wood and you sprinkle them into the liquid. As the pungent smell washes over you, images from your restless sleep come back to you. A ring, like the station, but skeletal and ghostly. A web of threads pulling at your skin. A constellation of bright poly polygonal shapes, like angular suns, burning into your mind. This is a lot of words I don't normally ever say on common day-to-day -day basis. Lord. <laughs> There's something unpleasantly visceral about these images, and as long after you finish drinking before they begin to fade. You tidy away the stove as best you can and try to gather enough energy to greet the day. If I'm an AI, even if I have like human brain and human thoughts and human processing, why would I need to consume things? Ooh. Ooh, condition, action, and energy. And dice, okay. Condition, your condition represents the current state of your artificial body. It depletes by one segment each cycle, but can also be damaged by violence, injury, or lack of food. Okay, okay. If your condition bar empties, you will suffer. Okay, which one's the condition bar? Oh, this was the condition bar. Okay. Your condition bar was... Okay, okay, okay. That's just the overall state. Action dice. Let's start... These are action dice. Okay, okay. These dice can be used to perform actions in the station. The number of dice rolled is based on your current condition. The worse your condition, the fewer dice you have. Once you have used your dice... Oh, Okay. Once you have used the dice, you cannot take any further actions. You must rest or recover them, ending this current cycle. Okay. But do okay. I don't know what the action dice will do, so we'll yes. we'll see. Energy. You also need to eat to survive. This is represented by your energy. You can refill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Energy's energy's energy. Okay. Where do I go? Did I just leave? Oh, Dragos is stood in the corridor when you clo when you close up the container. He is still wearing his headset, and in the harsh light of the corridor, you realize it is implanted. A drone sits on his shoulder, its cautious sensor eyes rapidly irising. How are you feeling? I don't like irising as a word. It's not comfy. I'm doing okay. The drone chirps. Good to hear. You notice that beneath the operator's rig, his skin is marked by burns and blotches. 
I know the container isn't much, but it'll keep you safe. He pauses. So, I'm not going to chit-chat too long. You well enough to work? F work? Excuse you? Look, I'll be honest with you, sleeper. I didn't pull you out of that container out of the goodness of my heart. Psh, he looks away. Thanks, bud. At the yard, it's simple stuff. We hack these old hulls down, sell them off to the shipyards or the bright market dealers for cry cryo? Cryo. Occasionally, we pull out some tech. Something with a bit more value, but most of what comes in is scrap. It's hard to find good hands here, but I figure as a sleeper, you'll be used to the manual labor. And obviously, I'll slip you a few chits of commission based on what you turn up. Chits? <laughs> I'm assuming it's currency. These. He pulls out a handful of small metal bars. Or air walled cryo, isolated from the market. It's what we use to trade out here. He's. Oh, so is this. Is this like. Off. It's still sanctioned, but not properly government made currency? He shuffles his feet nervously. Look, I wouldn't usually do this. In my opinion, you'd be best suited moving on as quick as you can. And sleep as well but things being the way that they are are for that they are for me at the yard I need the help why would you do things are a little tight that's all I owe a little cryo to a client here or there he pauses thinking of something else to add look just come down the yard when you are feeling fresher there's plenty to do okay okay we're already in some skeevy business let's go he nods distractedly, distractedly and turns and walks away, the drone hopping along ahead of him. See you later. I don't want to work! <laughs> Where the fuck do I need to go? Mm. Actions are the primary way you interact with the world. This is Seabird. Form an action, click and drag your chosen action dice. Oh, this is, this is info. Hi, David. How are you? <laughs> Repeatable action. Hold. What? To perform an action, drag. Click and drag your chosen action dice. Okay. The action goes better than expected. The action succeeds. Okay. Okay. How do I? What? Sure. Action display information about their type, risk level, and skill, and modifies that applies that action. We are overall doing good. I there's just this tutorial has a lot of info. It's pretty. I I have a feeling Citizen Sleeper is very much a tabletop game made into a visual novel. Kind of interesting. A lot of information. <laughs> I really just hope this does math for me, because if I have to do math, Christ. Uh, I'll hydrate, I hydrate. Mm. So it shows my modifier already, okay. Um, I'm willing to just do this. Yeah, I can live with that. Oops, wrong slot. I don't need it to be a hundred percent. Oh, I can only do one or the other. Okay. Let's do this one. Gigi. Actions often progress. Clocks. Clocks are displayed where? Or below the actions. It's okay. Some clock. Okay. I figured things take time. Risky. Let's do it. Drives and navigate. Wow. Find a doctor. It says that you will unlock drives as you discover more about yourself and the world. Drives guide you in pursuing specific objectives depending on which path you wish to take. You can track drives. Okay, so the side quest? 
You are now free to explore Erlen's Eye and make- Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Every- what? No, you're not in the game. Okay. How much t I should do energies? Fine. I'm running out of dice. I don't want to keep working if I'm running out of dice. Okay. Oh, that's my money. I have 20. Okay. You need to access to. You need access to corporate pharmaceuticals, otherwise this escape attempt will come to a rapid end. Okay. Oh, I do want tracking on. Okay. I'm assuming he's there. I need to go there for the doctor, correct? Yeah? Helion Crossing. Merchants willing to run the gauntlet of the Helion system are rare, but those that do always return. Eventually? Interesting. Can I do anything here? No, no, I cannot. Okay. Do we have to? Ooh, wait, how do I move up? Oh, I just scroll. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming it's just a strip. Okay. What's this shipyard? Hey, where is the fucking doctor? How do you know where the doctor is? Is he there? At the shipyard? I mean, okay, the yellow means nothing. Or is it the yellow dot on top? I feel like it's the yellow dot on top. Okay. The bright market. Let's go. Explore? Okay, explore or ask for directions? Because I feel like asking could- yeah, is danger. This is just risky. Risky? Risky. <laughs> but I'm already at a minus one for intuition. So it could be a bad end either way. Mm, I don't want to approach people, but I gain knowledge. We're gonna risk talking to people. Okay. I'm not high on charisma as you can see. Ooh. That's a lot of local knowledge. Oh, I because of my dice. Okay. Oh. New drive discover. What what did I what what what? Build a ship mine? You've heard talk of a fabricator owned by the Ort Exchange. With that and a few fragments, you could build a ship mine core. No, I need to find the fucking doctor. Okay, this is the top. Oh, I can go to the lower end, but okay, okay, okay. But like, how would I find him? Or did I actually have to activate it to actually know where it- Oh, wait. This. No, I want it on. Um... Let's go. I have to pay a toll! Oh my god, 60?! Hell no. I ain't made of money. Sure, let's go... I don't need to... Ooh! Emphis. Emphis is busy. His broad face built by the makeshift gas burner in front of him. Uplit. Wow. With precise, delicate movements, he lays thick chunks of marinade fungus in a dent into a dented wok. His other hand, idly tossing a metal bowl of sliced vegetables and some red fleck dressing. This smells incredible. Hell yeah! This is the type of food I want to nom nom! 
You watch as he fulfills a set of orders, heaping the fungus with a bright salad and depositing it in plastic trays. A stack of chips rattles in his apron pocket as customers file past the burner, handing over payment. I just want to watch him. Because cooking. Despite the cue, Emphis doesn't rush. He dresses each proportion. Each portion individually, squeezing the precise slugs of ill from an assortment of bottles into the bowl of torn leaves and bright slices before tossing them loosely together. Occasionally, a waiting customer might mutter something about eff efficiency, but Emphis remains steady in his process. After a while, the queue fades back into the crowd, and Emphis sets his down his metal bowl and looks up across the burner to see you, watching him. I can feel your eyes burning a hole in my bowl. Free sample? Ooh, yes? But will I have to owe him a favor? I'm just gonna- uh, I don't need food. Sure. He gestures neatly. Come over. The smell is almost unbearably strong as he cooks. The earthiness of the fungus laced with something so spicy the smoke makes your eyes water. The heat from the burner is like a bonfire and your skin hardens in its glare. I know you, you sleepers, Emphis says while he cooks his voice deep but clear. A hard life, a lot of stories. He glances up from beneath his cap and with piercing eyes. I know. I have a story to tell? I thought I had no memories. Okay, let's go. You begin to tell him about your journey to the eye, and he nods as he cooks, his eyes never leaving his work. You tell him of the confusion, the pain, but also the sense of possibility and its sudden arrival. You tell him of the cold and dark of the container, and the endless cycle spent within it. Now it seems you tell him, like some dream that you once had but can never forget. Commas are in weird places. You tell him that the eye excites you and scares you, and you are unsure where to walk, where to look, what to do. Eventually you tail off, running out of words. He places a plastic tray of steaming fungus in your hand. Next time we can talk some more, he smiles, but next time you pay. Thank you for taking pity on me and feeding me, good sir. He slams a heavy hand against the button on the burner side and it shuts off. The roar of the roar of the flame and its impressive heat fades. Next time, then, sleeper. He waves you away and begins to oil over, to oil the walk. Before you turn back to the alley, you notice the geometric patterns of circular scars across his forearm, each surrounded with the constellation of glinting pin marks. You walk away, and as you do, you take a bite of the rich, spicy, delicately sweet fungus. Your taste sensors light up like a fusion reactor. You'll be back. Hell yeah, I will be! Well, that's a nice full bar. Oh? Doctor, doctor, doctor! Next comes call from the enforcer at the door. You shuffle down the flickering hallway towards the open apartment door. You keep your head down and your shoulders high in queue, trying not to bring attention to yourself. You were thankful for the tip-off that a doctor was operating out of this place, but now that you are here, you aren't so sure. The gang enforcer out the door, the flickering light strips, the decaying hab block, they have all made the long queue a test of your nerve. But your options are few, and without a supply of stabilizer, this body, your body, will... You suppress a shiver and shuffle forward the front of the queue. You try to find something to distract yourself. Look inside! Do not make eye contact with the bouncer! You lean against the doorframe and look into the apartment. The entryway is dark, punctuated by the green indicators of stacks of sealed containers. You lean in and see amber light flittering through a door, far doorway. Screen with plastic sheeting, <laughs> beyond which blurred shapes move. The slap of the enforcer's palm against the doorway jerks you awake. Wait your turn, he growls. After a few moments, a figure pushes through the doorway and you catch a distant voice. Send the next one in, Toshiro. The enforcer jerks his head and you slip inside, passing through the dark entryway and pushing through the plastic sheeting of on the far door. The room beyond is bathed in warm light. A floor-to-ceiling transparent panel gives a full view of the bright market's sealed roof and the buzzing traffic above, and for a moment, you are transfixed by the motion. Ooh! Ooh! Yo! Can I have her art? Sabine? Come sit, calls a sharp voice, and you see a silhouetted figure turned away, replacing the plastic sheet over the frame of a simple folding bed. You make your way across the room. The figure turns, and as they do, you see an expression of confusion flash across their features. They open their mouth as if to speak, they blink, and then quickly regain their composure. Please sit. They gesture to the bed, then turn to an open case of tools on the table. You sit. Sabine turns a compact diagnostic scanner of some kind in their hand. 
They hold it to their eye. Remain still, please. Their tone is clipped and businesslike. You stare ahead, still dazed from their expression when you first entered. Fear, recognition, sadness, unmistakably etched across their face. Do I know people? Did I get a full reboot? I feel like I got a full reboot. How long have you been on the station? They ask the scanner still to their eye. Um, that's a lie. So I'm gonna say nothing. They lower the scanner and meet your eye. You can talk. They glance towards the doorway. I know the conditions aren't ideal, but I need you to be honest with me. They make some adjustments to the scanner, or you can leave. They set the diagnostic scanner on the table. I'm going to start by assuming you don't know anything. They take your arm and roll up your sleeve, inspecting your synthetic skin. Your body is dying. They say it without ceremony, without drama, but not without empathy. SNARP doesn't like to see its proprietary technology let loose. To prevent bodies like yours, frames as they call them, from being stolen, repurposed, or in your case escaping, they built in a process of so-called planned obsolescence. Okay. This thing, okay, is, so not, I'm a full robot, I'm assuming? Or, or not, uh, am I full android? I feel like I'm a full android. And like, most, like, maybe Sabine at most would be like a cyborg? Is that kind of, I feel like that's closer to the scenario. Frames decay rapidly when not regularly injected with stabilizer. One with Asin Arp remains the sole producer. One which Asin Arp remains the sole producer of. They look up. Sound familiar? How do you know this? They shift in their seat. You aren't the first sleeper I've encountered. You wait for more, but they go back to their inspection. They swap to your other arm, running some thin metal device over your skin. You feel your forearm tremble. Ooh, I have nerves. I'm sorry, Sabine says, and you are unsure if they mean for the cold touch of the metal or everything else. Emulations like you, sleepers as most people know you, aren't classified as people in any of the surrogate systems. You have no rights, no status. They focus hard on the inspection of your arm, and S and ARP has no reason to release stabilizer into the market. Hello? So I'm going to die? No, you have to have stolen some. Sabine looks up to you as if to apologize again, but they stop themselves. I know a little of this is of use t I know little of this is of use to you. They turn away, disassembling the metal instrument and cleaning it. Silence fills the room as Sabine works, and then the silence gives way to tension. You stare at the back, willing them to say something, anything. Sabine turns to face you. I may be able to help. They sigh, and you see the darkness under their eyes, hear the fatigue in their voice. They gesture to the door. You saw Toshiro outside. You nod. He works for my benefactor, Yadagan. They are influential in the low end. They give me this space to work, run the door, and take the profits. At the same time, I have to fix up their enforcers, tend to their implants, soap their wounds. They look away. But Yadagan has connections. Smugglers from the Star, Star, Star Ward, well, Belt. Mercenaries working for the corporations on Ember. If they can source the stabilizer, maybe you'll have a better chance. Sabine sets down their slate, their notes complete. This, this is dangerous, and it'll be expensive, but I think we could do it. Why? Sabine walks away to the window, their face dappled by the shadows of passing drones. Let's see if this works first. I'll let you know when I have a lead. You nod and leave, Sabine still staring out, unmoving. When you reach the lower level of the marquee, you look back up through the panels of the roof to see if you can see their face, but the room looks dark against the lights of the market. You duck your head and walk off into the crowd. So I got nothing! I have to go to the fucking... Oh wait, fuck, I don't have to just scroll up, you fucking use the keyboard. Uh. Okay, close. I couldn't read that. Uh. Can I go back for the drugs? Oh, it's going to take a few cycles. Okay, okay. You think I would have read some shit? Um. Where have we not got, gone? Okay, nothing here. 
We haven't. Ooh, ooh, I could. Ooh, ooh, I could steal things. Hello. Explore, but I need to work. Explore the rotunda. Rotunda of the old dock is filled with passageways and concourses leading to all kinds of docking bays. Steal dock plants. Have I want to steal it. <laughs> like, but be bad to get caught now. This will be the fast way to get to know the place and the most dangerous. Fuck yeah. 100% positivity. Let's go. Done. Ooh, let's help. Hello. Jess? Um, Ankita? Hey you, you wanna earn a chit? Ankita stands beside a huge pile of tied together hull plates. She stretches out her back, her shoulders, bulging beneath her flight suit. Make it too! Ankita laughs, the, this goddamn station. She sighs and pinches the bridge of her nose. Alright, come here. Hell yeah, double it! You cross the docking concourse as she begins to split the plating into two bundles. What is it with this place? She asks as she angrily lashes the massive plates together. Everyone wants to cut. She straightens up to an imposing height, her armor plates creaking, and looks you up and down. Or is it just you all think I'm an easy mark? We all need to survive. And Kita softens. I get it. I do. She shakes, she shakes her head. But if I could just... If I could go just one cycle with some jumped up grifter trying to take me for an idiot, that would be nice. I mean, stop asking for help then, I'm just saying. And Kita hoists one bundle of plating onto her shoulder. Come on then, enough chat. You've got to earn those chits. You struggle to shoulder the plates, but you do eventually. And Kita gives you a look. Ships this way. And she sets off down a gantry at impressive speed. And you catch up. as you catch up to her, she turns down a passage, pushing through a small crowd of st Steve doors? Steve doors? What? That's a word? Is if it, uh, I feel like it's a very specific word that is a modern word that there are reasons why I have probably only seen it once before, if anything. What's all this for? Oh, this? She nods at the plates on her back. I'm building a treehouse. She gives you a, another of her looks. It's for the ambergris, ambergris? That cutter you might have seen sitting silent out there. She rapidly turns another corner. As they trail behind, she... What? Stevedore's a person employed or a contractor engaged on dock to... Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's probably, like, why I've never seen the word. I probably heard it because I know a couple of people that work in the shipyards, but they don't use the terms with me, so I don't have to actually know. She rapidly turns in another corner. As you trail behind, she got cut up pretty bad on our last job, and I had to moor up here for a spell. But since then, it's only gone worse. Someone got in and sliced the, the core from our ship mine. So now she's gone dark. She shifts the panels on her shoulder. Yes! Thank you. That is the term I have either. Aya, uh, stretch and hydrate. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because I knew this had reading in it. I have like three different liquids in front of me. <laughs> Olive, which I've been rotating drinking. If only I had space. There we go. The upshot is that I'm short one ship mine with a ton of repairs to do. And the rest of the crew signed off the moment they got wind. I'd been stranded. So yeah, it's it's been a time. <laughs> it's always hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> and I will willingly take the dihydrate sometimes, but the suffering before the dihydrate happens. Ugh, not worth it. I don't want to offer free help, but... Sorry to hear it. Yeah, I've seen worse, but I'm bleeding chits every cycle here, so I need to get off, and fast. And Kita swings the place from her back, almost knocking you over in the process. This is me. She hauls the second bundle off your shoulder. Dehydrate or dehydrate? <laughs> You're the first person I've met here who might actually be considered helpful. She pauses chewing her bottom lip. Look, you want help. 
Come see me. I need a hand putting Amber back together, and you don't seem like the type to try anything stupid. I mean... It's only been, like, a day. She passes the bundles of plates through the Amber Ambergris outer lock and then turns back. Just don't go spreading all this around. And Kira throws you a couple of chips. Fuck yeah. She gives you a parting nod and ducks through the doorway. Alright, get out of here, she calls back, and then locks. Then the lock slams shut. Slams shut. Wow, English. New another one? The fuck? Fix the ambergris and Kira's cutters, cutters out of commission. Help her get it. Do these have... I'm not seeing a time on them. I literally only gained a couple. Rude as fuck. Uh, Can we go here? Hard work. I don't need to exchange anything. I don't have anything on me. Uh, the docking bay. I have no dice to use. No dice. I wish I could get it. Ooh, I can get a drink. Input. How do I input? Oh! Get a drink? Buy rations. Get a drink? Buy Why am I even thinking this? We're getting a fucking drink. Hell yeah. One drink is all I need. For now. Were we here? We were here. And there was nothing. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go back to what's his face. Let's go to the construction yards. I have to roll dice. I don't have any dice. Oh, no, I wanted to... Can I not? Where am I supposed to go? Drago pulls you out of the store. Yeah. Can I just pay him to pay off some shit? No. Well, I have no dice, so we have to end the fucking cycle. I could have sunbathed. I could have gone tanning. What is there to tan? Whatever. I need action dice, so we gotta go to bed. Hmm? This time you don't wake up. Instead, the ghost of the station, that shifting skeletal ring surrounds you. Um, what? <laughs> For a moment, you are gone, absent from your own body, stretched out across the colorless void, then the connections begin to establish themselves, threads tugging at the edge of your mind. These threads become vectors of exchange and then extensions as you feel your thoughts slipping away down them, dissolving into the millions of distributed nodes they connect to. You see the station. No. You feel the station, like a web of texture in a smooth black liquid. Touch it! You find a point in the station and you connect to it, pulse through it, follow loops and pass under and around it. You touch more points than you have fingers, and then you try, in a moment of impulsiveness, to connect to them. Fuck yeah! Impulsiveness! Let's go! My middle name. The flow passes through you so rapidly that you feel yourself being carried with it, splitting and separating, eddying and gathering. As you do, things occur to you, things that you can't possibly know. You reach out, try to grasp them, try to touch them too. You notice a tugging feeling, pulling at you insistently as if you were a small child. Somehow it is pulling in two directions at once. You look down. All of a sudden, everything shuts off. You come back trembling into this unfamiliar body, both yours and not yours, all at once. You find yourself standing in the container, eyes now open to the dark steel walls. You feel a change within you, a shift. I am having existential crisis every time I end a cycle. What is this? Is this what the stabilizer is for so I forget this shit? You close your eyes for a second and you feel it's waiting there. The station slayed out across your mind, a storm of connective nodes waiting to be explored, and then it's gone. What? Okay. It was gone. How am I only at... How did I lose six? 
Excuse you. Okay, we're gonna fucking work. And it's neutral. We're gonna do this because I need to repay this debt. I just want to get be done this. I don't get how I've lost. Oh, I could definitely have changed this point of view. Nice. I need a skill upgrade. I can't get it because it. Oh, okay, we're gonna do this. Hi Shadow, there is no winning. There is just exploring and reading. I have nothing to exchange. Okay, are they back yet? They're not back yet. I don't have the money to exchange. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to order any food if I have to pay again. Yes, the poster check. Okay, can I exchange anything? No, I have nothing to sell. Oh. This has already given me an existential crisis in the first, like, two paragraphs in the prologue. So, both? Both? Because we don't know what our feelings are, nor do we think they are our own, but they feel like our own. But at the same time, our minds are disconnected. It's a thing. Welcome to Citizen Sleeper. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, that's all I could do. Yeah, pretty much this is The Matrix. Cyberpunk is a great genre. Which, 10 and 10, I would recommend reading cyberpunk. Or, not cyberpunk. Yeah, reading cyberpunk fiction. Really good. Um... Always will recommend. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is down now? Okay, if this is always going to be down, we need to go back to this ankle so I don't get thrown off. I already have to go to bed. I did nothing. I worked, and that was it. I'm not even able to get more fucking... We're gonna have another drink. Oh, that's where the six went. Because I drank it. That makes sense. Yes, we're now gonna eat. That gave me shit all. We're gonna get another fucking drink. I don't care about my deck to dragos. Okay. The overlook is the next exactly restaurant, meaning the only way you'll gain trust from here is with a stiff drink. Okay, I've existed here. We'll continue. What have I unlocked? The glass shatters on the steel bar beside you, and the taunts don't take long to follow. Hey, haunt! A spacer calls across the low room. What are you doing here? He laughs at his own lame joke. Playing human? I'm gonna ignore him! You hunch a little further, staring at the hundreds of tiny impact points that, that scar the bar's surface. A hand falls on your shoulder, but as you flinch away, it passes reassuringly. You freeze in place. Oh, she's cute! Out, the voice comes from behind you. Behind you, spat out like a shot. You turn to see bright eyes, dark hair, a stare that could breach the wall and vent you all, vent you all into a hard vacuum. As you turn back to the spacer, the second glass comes sailing through the air. Ooh, catch it. Did I miss? God damn it. You reach up ahead and the glass shatters across your forearm, showering you in fragments. You try to be cool for one second and then ugh. Through the haze of glass and dural vapor, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that word wrong. You see Tala leap the bar and close the distance to the spacer. 
The thud as he slams into the wall echoes across the bar like thunder. Now flanked by other figures, quick to their feet, Tala throws the spacer out through the door and stands silhouetted against the rotunda lights. You touch your arm and it feels wet. Someone helps you to your feet and back onto your stool. Broken glass rattles as it is cleared, and a fresh measure of girl, girl is glugged out in front of you. That same hand, warm, heavy, falls on your shoulder once more. He isn't coming back. We don't tolerate that kind of shit here. Tala flops onto the stool beside you. Let's get a look at you. I mean, she's nice and cool and tough and cute. I like her already. Also, slip sick tats. Tala wipes the powdered glass from around the wound and someone places a bottle of alcohol and a metal tin with tweezers on the bar. She disinfects them and then turns to you. That was an ambitious catch. She smells pulling a sliver of glass from your forearm. Stupid, but ambitious. You know what? <laughs> don't, don't judge. You don't feel the pain, but only the string of status messages your body delivers concerning dermal damage and exposed structures. You do feel the care, though, as Tala's bright eyes search your thick synthetic skin for splinters. Yes. <laughs> We're just gonna stare and watch. Tala works with the skill of someone who has had to pick glass splinters from a skin of a stranger before. She hones in on each bright shard all the time tapping the tweezer tips in little rhythms that only she can follow. Tala smiles to, smiles to herself. So you've been on the eye long? I mean, jaded already. Let's go. Long enough. She laughs. Hey, you don't need to act tough with me. A splinter clicks into the tin. Not everyone is like that idiot. We don't all hate you. She glances around. Some of the regulars. Maybe they fear you. Maybe they're just curious. I don't know. But I do know that the Overlook is a safe place. I know what it's like to be new in this place. Trust me. She meets your eye. I'm not trying to convince you of anything or separate you from the, your chits. I just want you to know that if you need somewhere, you can always come here. Can I crash here instead of the fucking old dingy warehouse from Dragos? I know the rations we've got aren't much, and the company is... limited. But if you need work, I'll happily put you behind the bar, and if you need shelter, well, we can discuss that. Fuck yeah! Let's go! Housing out the shack up! You'll be safe. I usually have Francis on the door, but he's up in, in the greenway this cycle, haggling with our supplier. Francis tends to be particular about what we serve, even if the clientele isn't. She places her tweezers in the tin with a clink. That's you, sleeper. Here. She slides the glass of girl to you. This'll help. She stops her hand still in the glass. Wait, does this help? I mean, can you get drunk? Yo, let's find out! <laughs> she laughs. Just don't sit here too long. I'd hate to see you become a real regular. She walks back, ar back around the bar, gathering the glass as she does, and before long she re is retelling how she threw that spacer out to a new group that just wandered in, complete with dramatic actions. Fuck yeah! Atta girl, that's how you get your tips! She gestures in your direction and you instinctively look away, back to the worn surface of the bar. You take a sip of the girl. I keep changing how I pronounce it every time. Cool. The earthy fungal tones fill your senses, almost blocking out sight and sound, like diving headfirst into a bog. You may not be able to get drunk, but this connection is something grown, something fermented, something old. Feels good. I mean, I like her. If I get to fucking live with her, hell yes. Can I try again? Nope! <laughs> I can work at the bar, though. Hell yes. Like, would that have changed anything? No. No. Uh, I can't do anything. Where have I not gone yet? I don't have any data, and that's not a chit. Okay. Hardware exchange? No. Uh, I don't want to pay for food, and yet I don't. That's also more money than I actually have, yo. And that's 
definitely more money than I actually have. Okay, we're going back to bed. Unless something's changed? No, we're going back to bed. I would like to move in with Tala. I'm here for her. Again, the skeletal... I hate this dreams dreamscape. Again, the skeletal ring of the station fills your mind. It sparkles like glittering lights, like stars reflected in a winter lake. It is clearer and crisper than before. The threads still pull, but you remain in place, flickering in the flow. Between the threads, you see bright shapes, caches of shimmering light beneath transparent crystal forms. You follow the path of a thread across the ring, through these forms, then leap off into the void. Did I commit suicide or was I pushed? Because I feel like I was, like, I, like, died, uh, like, not by choice. You begin to understand. These are nodes and connections, a map of information, of communication. There are so many layers, so many loops, that it seems almost impossible to parse. But you begin to try. Ooh, let's go on the threads. There are more threads than you can count. You choose one that passes nearby and approach it. As you inspect it, you understand why you instinct instinctively chose the word thread when you first saw them. They are not single lines, but rough fuzzy things woven from data strings of all kinds. The threads and nodes... What? That's not a complete sentence. The threads and nodes, passages and puzzle boxes. One leads to another. There is so much here, so many answers, so many questions. All you need to do is follow the paths and open the boxes. You look out across the ghost landscape of exchange and see an opportunity. Jump, let's jump. Then you, then that insistent tugging again, pulling at you. You look down again and see two lines, two threads pulling in different directions, as if they were tied around you. Second, the first, the second, the first, the second, second the best. Oh. The second thread leads in, pulling deep in the station. Your gaze follows it, and this time you see something, a sphere shimmering above a strange angular body. A pulse shoots out from it, passing over you like a torch beam, testing you, tasting you. Okay. The first thread leads out, away from the station, into the inky black. Someone out there is tracking you, hunting you, following the thread to you. They are in a ship, and the ship is approaching ever closer with each cycle. Lovely! You open your eyes, time is short. This, this is how I die. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I'm actually being hunted now? Motherfucker. The cloud. Oh, good boy, is there a tutorial? The cloud. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know. <laughs> uh, something has changed inside you. You can now access the data cloud of the eye, a network of decaying protocols and data caches. While well, there, you can use dice and items to access systems and extract data. But be careful, these networks are old and strange. Click the eye, but click the eye at the top of the screen to toggle this view on and off. Okay. Wait, where's the eye? But I want to find the... Where's the eye? I don't see the eye. Hmm. At the rate that y'all are redeeming the hydrips, I'm gonna run out liquids. Um, so clearly they're not back yet, but there's also nothing here. So we're gonna keep working to pay off that fucking debt and to have money. Ooh, 50-50? Let's go here. Yeah, okay. Is that how many uses I have left for it? Uh, that didn't turn out well. Okay. Okay, we're gonna help you repair. So 
so we can get out of here faster. I'm low on money again. I don't, uh, it doesn't earn me anything just to like exist. Oh, 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 I saw the eye, I saw the eye, I saw the eye. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Ooh! What's this, what's this, what's this? It's, yeah. <laughs> this is why I love like business type, like tycoon games, cause it's like, it's actually fun, cause I struggle, and then I so always end up with a surplus of fucking money. Uh, data actions allow you to extract data from the networks of the eye. They work like dice actions, but in order to unlock them, you must match your dice to the one displayed on. I don't. I just use my dice. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, this bullshit. I just fucking use my thingy. Yeah, that was a keynote, right? Keynote. What's this? Have it? Have it? Have it? Havenage? Havenage. Um, okay, that's not a thing. How about this? I don't have whatever currency that was. And I don't. Ugh! Okay, cool. I'll use some of my money so we can have a good relationship or start there. So much money. I don't... Uh, money management is generally fine, just right now it's not... not the best. Because I only have so many dice and I can only use so much and I only get so much from each time I use it. It's fucking frustrating. Like I already have to end a cycle. That was ridiculous, ridiculously quick. I just, I just want to live with Tala. Maybe get out of here. Okay, okay, we're closer to getting hunted. Uh, what is this? Perks unbathe in, like, your frames? I feel like that doesn't do anything for me. Ooh! As you close up, a voice echoes down the corridor towards you. Sleeper, wait up. Oh, I don't want to turn, but instinctively I turn. Ooh, thanks. Fang is coming down the corridor towards you, a wonky grin on his broad face. Hey, glad I caught you. I don't want to say anything. Yeah, we're talking now. We're talking. It's been a couple days. We can talk here. He grins. You do now. Oh, you do now. He puts a hand on your arm. I've seen you hanging around. Just want to chat. You staying in that thing? He nods back to the container, shaking his head. Rough. It can be hard to get a start in the eye. He looks away down the passage. What was it old Erlin said? The eye opens for us all? Nice idea, but well, not always very practical. He glances back at you. We do our best, but it is easy. Who? I love business IQ and money. Yes! They're not games I will stream here unless high demand. But like, yes, I, I do. I play them so much as a kid too. Like growing up when games were like starting to become a thing and were accessible. Oh, so much fun. I missed the roller coaster. Roller coaster tycoon was not one of the games that I enjoyed playing though, because I think I just like got too dizzied by it. I Sims. Sims and like the grand concept of like the bigger house household but not individual parts. Yes. You pass together into the main walkway. No one has told you about Erlin. He's the founder of this place. That why that's why it bears his name. Havenage should organize some seminars. He laughs. Not really my department, though. 
I have more systems. Systems? Everything that I runs on. He runs a hand along the passage wall. This place is a ruin, but systems keep it keeps it spinning somehow. At least we try to. Hang on! You've never played The Sims? Ever? Out of one, two, three, and four, you've never played The Sims? How? Like How? He stops you in the quiet passage. Look, that's not what it, I'm here to discuss. I saw you around and well, I know a little about you, sleepers. I have a little proposition for you. He glances around, but this is not the place for it. Daisuke, I can imagine you, cause like, <laughs> your shelteredness does not surprise me. <laughs> Daisuke, you still spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> English is hard. It's a struggle. I get it. I have an office just across the way. Give me a cycle or two to prepare. Then, when you're settled, stop by. He lowers his voice again and gives you a dark look. In truth, I need you. If what they say is true about you sleepers, well, there's work to be done. I like the secrecy, but I don't like that I have a lot of fucking waiting to do because I'm being hunted! He pats you on the back, his voice bright and his dark look suddenly gone. Stay clean, sleeper. I like that expression. <laughs> he walks off down the passage, raising a hand in farewell. Stay clean, that's an expression that we can start using. Uh, never had... I mean, I get it, but like, I, I'm pretty sure I've played... The Sims, like, mm, I think I have more time in one sitting, on average, playing the, a Sims game than I do playing, like, I'll say COD, COD 2. Like, just sitting and playing The Sims would probably take, like, a day. Like, I think the only game on average per sitting I've played longer than The Sims is probably Civilization and or Age of Empires, either of the two. I will like sit all day for those games, but then kinda have to. Okay, we're almost done our fucking debt here. Let's go. I played Civ 2, and then I was on Civ 2 for a while, and then I moved to Civ 5. Played a bit of Civ 6, didn't like it. I'd rather play Civ 5. Controversial opinion, apparently. Still stand by it. Age of Empires isn't gone. It still exists. It... it, it, it <clears throat> no, if no, your playtime on any of those, <laughs> any of those is like no, and it's also like you have more access to them at one point. <laughs> you make the time. You already don't sleep. Sacrifice the sleep. Sacrifice more of the sleep. Can't fuck I need a how do you upgrade skill? Okay, wait, I can see the doctor Hell yeah, doctor's back. The first thing you see on entering is the glint of Toshiro's implants like a cat's eye in the dark of the corridor. He nods you in as you arrive at Sabine's door. The entryway is still dark and you push through the sheeting into the surgery. I have it. Sabine stands with the case open in front of them, a set of vials lined up inside, separated by foam inserts. They pick one up, rotating in the warm light. I have no idea how Yadagan they trail off. We should treat this with caution. It looks authentic, but I have no idea if it really is what it appears to be. I'm the test case? That seems to be the case. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we have another choice. They gesture for you to sit on the bed. 
The stabilizer works under a similar principle to an immunosuppressant in a transplant operation in that it stops your body from injecting the unfamiliar part of itself. I think it's helping me reject the actual familiar part of myself, but okay. In the case of your frame, the unfamiliar part is each of your biosynthetic organ groups, which over time are identified by your body as foreign material and therefore must be eliminated. Okay, it's okay, it's correct. Sabine holds up a vial of the would-be stabilizer. However, unlike an immunosuppressant, the stabilizer's Stabilizer doesn't do this by limiting your entire immune system. Instead, it re-encodes re your biosynthetic organs with new protein chains which act as passcodes within your immune system. The stabilizer refreshes these passcodes, keeping your frame from rejecting all of its organs. Which means... Which means the stabilizer should be able to encode any organic or biosynthetic matter by, to be accepted by your immune system. They glance away. At least if the stabilizer is genuine, the only way to know for sure is to inject the vial. They begin readying the syringe. I will start with a small dose to limit the risk. I don't have a choice. I think you are right. Sabine cracks the glass neck of the stabilizer vial and uses the syringe to extract a fraction of the liquid. They tap the syringe and you watch as if any sign might emerge from the clear liquid. You barely feel the needle, your frame registering the initial injection, but with little response. Hello? <laughs> Every time! A cessation begins to spread from the sight, a fizzling, trembling wave that disperses through your arm which in with incredible speed. Your vision goes white, and when it returns, Sabine appears encased in shards of sparkling light that slowly fade- WHAT?! Rewind! Your vision goes white, and when it returns, Sabine appears in case and shards of sparkling light that slowly fade into darkness as you settle back against the bed. You swim in darkness, muffled noises like an argument heard from underwater. Prickling waves cold. When you sit back up, Sabine is sitting in a chair by the window, facing away from you, backlit by the glow of their slate. Awake? Yeah, what the fuck happened? The stabilizer is genuine. They sit down beside the bed. I don't know how Yanagan acquired a case of this stuff, but they did. Sabine looks troubled, distracted. You should rest some more, but you are going to have to do that somewhere else. They gesture to the door. I have other patients. Sorry. You're not sorry. Sabine nods towards the case. I'm afraid I can't offer you more any offer you any more doses. You're going to need to pay for your next dose. Silence fills the room and they return to their glowing slate. Looking around the room, it seems different somehow, as if things moved or shifted. You wonder how long you've been out. Sabine? Nothing comes free, slipper, sleeper. Remember that. You manage to get to your feet and wander out into the hallway. The queue stretches down the flickering corridor. Toshiro stands impatiently by the door and fixes you with a glare as you leave. You lower your eyes as, this, as you stumble past, somehow faintly aware of the station spinning beneath you. Are you now part of the station? Okay, I am going to get more water because all your fucking hydrate redeems worked and me drinking in between. BRB. I am back with Agua. Just try to keep. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> good reason to. Um, did this not count? She acquired it. Do I need to? Oh, I need to pay for him. Okay. Um. Oh, I need to get to know. Oh, fuck. Do I have money? Yeah, I do. Well, I'm not hungry. Hey. I do want to get to know Emphis because I feel like he's got information. But I need. To I'm not hungry. Okay. 
Where would the like? Okay, let's start with the. Ooh, let's start with this one. No, can't use the circle ones. Let's do the first diamond keynote. Keynote. All these keynotes look. Oh, I have to match the one. I have to match the two. Okay, this doesn't look like I'll be able to do any of these ones. Which is fine. It's just I would like to now that I actually have a dice. Maybe I fucking have to do these yet again. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do these before I even start doing jobs, clearly. Ooh. Why can't I do anything here? It takes a oh, that's a cycle. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna try and live with fucking. T oh, get out of my way. Yeah. Yeah. We're slowly getting there. I could have worked more. Eh. We're just slowly getting hunted over time. Ooh, I have all five dice? Hell yes. Okay, what seems to happen is with um, the keynotes and shit for data, there's always a, it seems to be just twos and ones. I don't think I recall seeing a three even. So we'll work with the actually. Ugh, almost missed that. See, okay. Input. Hell yes. Let's go. Extract the data. I have data. I don't know what this means. But we're gonna keep going. Because we're getting data, and I wanna know what this means. Oh, that's a new sound. I don't like- I don't think I like that sound. As you jerk back from the node, something latches onto you. A thread, strung tight around you. It tethers you in place. A taste. I don't like this! The voice makes you shiver. It's source somehow both distant and close behind your ear. You see a distant glint of light shut off, and then suddenly a shape is at your side. It stalks around you, circling like a shark, like a wolf. Entity, unknown, astringent, processing. Stay still? Even though so badly. Oh, what the fuck? Please hold. A hunter? A hunter? I don't like the looks of them. I think I took too much data. The thread around you thickens until it is a ring. A cylinder. A tunnel of light circled around you. It is, a, it is blinding for a moment, and then it is gone. As it fades, you see a figure, a creature, in front of you. Its strange head flickers between different angles, reading you. What are you? The shape paces around you on... Okay. This word. L-I-T-H-E. I always pronounced it one way, and then I was corrected. And it has been so long since I've had to say this word aloud that I actually don't remember which one's the correct pronunciation. Is it leaf? It's leaf, right? Because it sounds right. It feels better of a word than like life. And I, leaf. I'm sticking with leaf. If, so, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm say, I'm say, it's leaf. Um, the shape paces around you on leaf legs, though there is no ground here to pace on. Entity, identify, origin, serial, cadence. The figure faces you expect, expectantly. 
sleeper. Oh, it is life? Ah. And life doesn't feel like a comfy word. Leaf sounds like a better word. Boo. Actually, that spelling of life is a lot more comprehensible and more English than, like, that looks like. <laughs> but when I say, like, L-Y-T-H-E looks more English, I mean, like, it looks Anglo. <laughs> Whereas this life looks German, and I, I get it. It's fine. English sucks. Uh, sleeper, S and art. Unknown, known. The figure's strange head rotates, brackish signature, of and not of, attempting interface. As the figure speaks, more threads begin to spiral from its head, thick, snaking, vein-like ribbons that flex and wave. They approach with intent. Stop. The figure halts its threads, its head twitching. Entity, your identity is unknown. We only seek to correct illegalities. Can we confirm your legal right to sentience? I If I say it well, well let me lie. Incorrect. Damn it. You are an entity. <laughs> all at it was worth a shot. All at once Hunter's well, all at what once Hunter's head is directly in front of yours, blocking your vision. You stink of their taste. The one from the sealed dock. Hunter shimmers with fury. I will find access. I will interface. I do don't understand. I do not An entity hides in the rotunda. You are its puppet. Hunter extends a razor edge thread. I will not be di not be diverted from my task. It glows with murderous intent. Yeah, we gonna fight. Oh! You lash out with all your force. Not a physical strike, but a focusing a sp focusing a spike of interference, sleeping out like a like the tip of a spear. Hunter stumbles, shifts, separates. Wake up! You open your eyes, blinking back into the station, shaking with fear. Huh? Okay, Basil. Okay. I, I, I... Okay. I don't know what has happened. Ooh, I think I do not have this piece. I do not have use. Ooh, I do have three. Let's go. This is where all the dice go. Okay. I have a four and I have a five on my dice. Okay, I can't do anything else here. A hundred? Holy shit. Ooh, this is new. Um, I don't need to buy stuff right now. Unload containers. The Freddy crews are eager to get their payload on the Ort Exchange if they'll pay a wage to anyone willing. Okay, how much is this wage, though? I will do this if it's a good wage. 15? That's it? Boo. I mean, I could also buy some scrap. Buy stuff close to the shipper, the valuable stuff to sell the markets. Ooh, then I can actually sell shit on the market. Let's go. I have money. I can buy. I have stuff. Okay. And then let's go to the market. Let's go to the market. What can I sell? What can I sell? I become, I can become crust, trusted, crusted, a trusted trader. I mean, crusted works. Okay. Play the exchange. Okay, this is a bit risky. Can we, can I put you in? There you go. I mean... 
I'll take it. I don't earn nothing in that. <sighs> cool. We're slowly gonna become friends with Emphis, though. Since I am earning money. But I don't have enough dice! <laughs> Fucking frustrating as shit. I mean... Ooh, how do I... What do I... How do I... What do I need to upgrade? Um, I need to upgrade interface. Okay. Can, is this how I upgrade? Do I just click it? Stretch. How do I upgrade? Oh, I have zero upgrade points. <laughs> I have no bones to crack. But that was a good stretch. <laughs> data oh my god oh my god let's go start yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i have one more let's go let's go yeah 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 yeah, yeah. hey yo we did it neovent 33 mysterious machine whoa Oh my god, did I unlock a gotcha? Fuck my life. As you slip inside the sealed dock, a pulsing light grabs your attention. Among the discarded tubing and rusted plates, a machine flick rusted plates, a machine flickers with a warm glow. Yep, we're approaching the machine. As you get closer, you recognize the machine's blocky shape, settled into an alcove on the side of the dock. A kind of upright cabinet is covered in faded logos and messages, from which you assume it was once an industrial vendor intended to dispense and, manu and manufacture ship fittings and other mechanical parts necessary for the regular running of freight and resource extraction vessels. The manufacturer is listed as NeoVend, and you remember an advert from a long ago squeezed among all the off-road recruitment drives that assaulted every planet-born citizen which triply sang that name over and over you wipe a layer of dust from the cracked screen thinking of those contractors squeezed by their own corporate employers to pay for every bit of minor maintenance on their rented ships enter your registration trips a pre-recorded message catching you off guard press some random ass keys you reach for the keypad and something begins whirring at first, it sounds like servo motors starting up, but it quickly becomes a whisper, a whining, then a multitonal voice that emanates from Neoven. Jesus Christ. Entity, they hiss. Speak with me. Uh, yeah, dumb moment. Let's do it. There's a, there is a squeal, almost like some strange mechanical swallowing or intake of breath, before the machine speaks again. I have need of you. You have need of me. That squeal comes again, and you see that is a 3D printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place, so that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce that whirring whining voice. You are in danger. I don't know whether to question the danger or question it being a machine, because I want to do both. And honestly, the danger is more concerning. The machine creaks. You are marked for deletion, entity. Hunter tracks you. The screech rattles through the empty dock. You remember the strange head, the figure, the threads closing in. Hunter. The Hunter Protocol. They taste your signature. The sudden wine sets your teeth on edge. You have seen them. This is the gift of an emulated mind. You close your- I don't want this gift! You close your eyes and the skeleton of the, start, uh, of the station starts to thrum. Emulated minds are adaptable. Move where neurons cannot. The mechanism resets. The emulation makes you target. Um, I don't know what this how is referring to. Um, emulating minds are adaptive moves where neurons can... Okay, how? Hunter searches for illegal entities, neo vent scre screeches. You are sentient, therefore illegal. Their servos, the servos judder the vending machine's ca casing as they reset. Hunter searches for me, also. Hide in this machine. You look at the ruined vending machine, an unusual hiding place for sure. Can... Can counter hunter, but need entity outside machine. 
the light flickers. Need you. A screen attached to the vending machine with a swiveling arm comes to life. It displays a flickering map of the station, ghostly threaded. The cloud points along the rim glow in deep red. Hunter is always gathering. Too much data. Must build nests, explains Neo then. Masters are gone, but continues hunt. Bring this data. Raid its nests. Masters? I'm concerned if there's bigger fish to fry here. Station builders. Solheim. The machine rumbles impatiently. Long gone. Their protocol still protocols still haunt. Bring offerings. Save self. Neo then says pointedly, mutual need means friends. They conclude, tired of the conversation. The whirring amplifies and then suddenly drops as mechanisms within the machine click back into place. The glow fades and you are left stood in the dark of the sealed dock, that whirring voice ringing in your ears. Well, ooh, new discover, new drive. I have, oh, I don't need more shit. They need your help to get, oh fuck. I don't, uh, I don't need more side quests. I don't know what I clicked, I just clicked on something. Oh, Fang. Sleeper. Fang catches your attention as you approach the ha Havenage building, leaning against the bay door to the side of the entrance. You approach. Easier to come in this way. Security, all that. He gives you a look. You know? He slams the button, the bay creaks open, blinking lights in the dark behind it. You follow Fang inside. Truth be told, I don't spend much time upstairs. This is where I work. The door hisses as it closes behind you. The bay is filled with pieces of hardware, all rigged up to generators and diagnostic slates and things you don't recognize that glow with blue the screen light. There is a chorus of hums that blends from a single wave of static filling the dark corners of the room. Fang leans on a server stack and gestures around. You like it? I can't judge someone else's mess because I too am a mess. Mm. But I can't question it. He taps a nearby server stack which bleeps in response. This is my treasure trove, all dredged up from the sea of systems we call the eye. You wouldn't believe what this place runs on. He steps over to a towering block speckled with vents. Some of these systems are from the original station. I actually don't recall what the symbol, accent, letter is called. But if it's supposed to be read as AE, that's dumb because this is actually read as something else. The one Solheim built. We've had to invent new components, repair things we never built, reverse engineer entire subsistence into existence. Oh, hi Kai! <laughs> Thanks for the sub! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> How are you doing, Kaya? We need a collab soon. We need to finish things. <laughs> Residents here look up at the eye and think they are seeing a constant, a concrete reality. But this place is a system in constant flux, decaying and growing, collapsing into new configurations. He walks down between the hardware stacks and you follow. We are keeping this place alive, but also remaking it into something new. Dragging it away from those corporate origins. He stops. At least that's what I'm trying to do. It, it's been a lot of reading, so this has been a lot of hydrating. <laughs> But I, I like cyberpunk shit, and it's pretty nifty, and I, it's, it's really pretty art, but it is a very linear story, so if you like visual novels, welcome. <laughs> he turns back to face you among the flickering machines, humming all around you. I know you can see this too, sleeper. All these systems and sections? You can, can't you? Mmm, don't, mmm. Sure, I don't want to lie to him, but he knows. It makes sense, right? You are between here and there, between the people and their systems. You light this place up like a beacon. That's what I need. You glance at the lights around you, and as you do, they seem to flicker, to realign, to follow your gaze. Feng notices it too. I'm guessing being a beacon isn't always ideal when you're on the run, though. No, it isn't. He pats you on the shoulder. Maybe I can help with, with that. There's a lot of old growth in this place. Sus subsystems I can't see. Access protocols lost to time and decay. Secrets. A shitload of secrets. With your help, I can unlock this place. Break off those ghost limbs of corporate control. He lowers his voice and below the hum. Even in Havenage, there is old growth. Those whose roots traits back t into those old, bad old days. You help me dredge up the past, and I'll see what I can do about that tracker of yours. He winks. 
Um, yes, if we can get rid of this fucking hunter, let's go. What do you say, sleeper? I'm in! Fuck you! Get rid of this fucking hunter! Fang pumps his fist and claps you on the shoulder. He meets your eye. You won't regret it, sleeper. Fang passes you a ragged-looking metal tab. A gift, he smells. It's a Solheim cipher. I dug it up from the desk of the station. Slot that into an old network gate and you'll be able to pull out all kinds of secrets on the nodes inside. Hell yes! Gimme, 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 gimme! He walks you back to the front of the bay. Start by bringing me whatever you can turn up. Use that emulated mind of yours and see what's out there. Let's get a picture of how things are. Those above, he nods at the ceiling, have granted me an acquisitions budget. I can pay for whatever useful data you bring in. I know you need it. He slams the door button again. Keep it quiet and keep it clean, sleeper. I'll see you soon. Yo, keep it quiet and keep it clean actually sounds like a fucking mm, a hitman <laughs> little ring. I'm here for it. You step, blinking, back out into the passage, those flickering lights still in the back of your mind. Okay. I have, I have another... Jesus. This is just gonna be a... Ooh. At the buy a vial now? Damn, that's a hundred. That's a full hundy. I don't even... Oh, that's gonna take fucking forever. I'm gonna get a hunt before... Shit. Why you red? Why you red? Deliver data. I have no data. I have data. <laughs> I have data. Is this not? That's oh. Okay. That's not data. That's a cipher. Um. Okay. Oh. I have no dice. Fuck this shit. Um, I think it was the circle ones that I could use because the diamonds and the triangles seem to be the ones I need with dice. Yes! Gimme, 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 gimme. Unavailable fucking Christ. Gate seven okay. Ooh, there are more things now. I don't like it when more things happen. Okay. You I don't have what you need. Unless I do. Is this it? That's not it. Hydrate. One of these times, just watch me choose a dihydrate option. Okay, what did I open? I, it told me I had access to something. What did I gain access to? Uh, <laughs> I could spend all my money. Yes, yeah, go. Why not? All my money. Let's go get scrap. And then we go back to the market. And... I get some cash from this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I made back exactly what I spent. That's kind of bleh. But that means that I can keep doing this if I'm making even. Because it's going to do that. Fuck yeah. Let's go. What is this? Shipmine fragment. Okay. I don't think I want to sell this. No. But this can come in handy here. I can't do anything. Could be reassembled with the right tools a few fragments. Okay. Cool. Great. I... Oh. Lovely. No, no, I can't use that. Can I use that here? Nope. I have no data for, wait, I have no data for him. Okay, we're gonna go to bed. We're getting closer to being hunted. 
It's not even that close, but it makes it stresses me out. Oh, no dream? No dream? I don't like that. Um, I'm closer to repaying him than anything. Okay, what do I need things for? I don't have a two! The lowest I have is a four, and I don't think anything else will use it. Which is frustrating, because for the longest time, I was like, I need higher dice, and now I need lower dice. And all I'm getting- ooh, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. All I'm getting are fucking higher dice. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Give me information! Okay. Can I use that Solheim data? I need a dice for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lowest I have is a five, which I feel like is gonna be none of these. Yeah, it's looking to be like they all need ones and twos. And for once, I don't have ones or twos. Nice thing is, I had five dice. Which is a fucking upgrade from the last few, the first couple of days. I can't afford you. Cause I am poor. Um... Um... I do... I did need... something. Oh! Yeah, it was that. Okay. Oh, thank god you gave me money. That was a thing though, right? Deliver data, deliver data, deliver data. Deliver data. Deliver data was not one of them. Fucking hell. Okay. Cool. Rude, but cool. Mm -hmm. We can keep working. Because at least if we pay off the debt, that'll be something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, back in business. That was okay. Is that? Oh. Okay, you changed. Welcome back, Dragos. It's been a while. You arrive into a buzz of activity at the yard. Red blinking lights flash across the vast dark shapes suspended below the dome. They flicker across the scorched hull plates and bent structures spilling from holes in the twisted shape. The cutter is huge and has been torn into torn apart in some violent encounter. She's a beauty, isn't she? Drago stands to the side, focused on the hulking ship as it's lowered in the yard. Oh, do I want to piss him off a little bit? A little. What is it? <laughs> Drago's Drago's laughs. That, my friend, is a grade scrap. I should thank you. This place was on its last legs when you turned up, and now look at this. This ship descends slowly, its interior visible through multiple hull breaches. You struggle to gather the same enthusiasm as Dragos for this monstrous craft. You can't help but think of what becomes of its crew. What became of its crew? What happened? What do you mean? He glances at you. Um, I managed to convince our salvager friends to give it to me on credit. That's what happened. No, what happened to the ship? Not my concern, he shrugs. The ship creaks like a calving iceberg as it reaches the base of the yard. Dragos is visibly excited. I know I said you shouldn't stick around. 
but I'm gonna need some help with this one. Fuck you, man. The drones start to crawl over the hull, their lights illuminating flashes of dented hull. Watching, you wonder if you arrived in a similar fashion, locked inside that container. The wreck of the s and Art freighter lowered into the yard like a corpse ready to be butchered? Or was the container delivered to Dragos on its own, a womb for your rebirth, into the strange station? You shudder. Perhaps if you could learn something about this ship, you might be able to trace the path that led you to this yard. Drago squeezes your shoulder. After these past cycles, I think we you, we are up to it. What do you think? We? We? Dude, it was me. You see the fading name of the ship emblazoned on its side. Winterlight. <sighs> Stay silent. A real beauty, Drago repeats, perhaps to himself. You take one last look at the shattered ship as the drones start cutting and then slip out of the yard feeling suddenly cold in the empty passage. Huh? Okay. Oh, care- Oh, I got upgrades! Yes, yes, yes! You completed your first drive. You tried to upgrade. Yes, 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 yes. Gimme, 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 gimme. What was it I needed to upgrade? Intuition? No, interface. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes! Give me, give me. Okay, now? Uh, I'm only at zero now? Oh my god, I am only at zero. Fuck this. Okay. Well, getting that money isn't gonna happen anytime soon. Um, what's here? Whoops. Uh, no, we don't want that. We don't have any more data. No. Whoops. That is home. That is home. That's a lot of fucking things to complete. Nope. But good to know if I need money. This I'm just waiting for. Let's work at the bar again because we liked her. And she was cute. So give me... If I get a move in with Tala in this one round, I am more than content. Yes! <laughs> the drool inside. Oh, slides from the bottle into the lumpy recycled glass, a pale grassy yellow under the overlook's warm lights. The spacer nods and takes the drink, bringing it up to their face in both hands like an offering bowl. This is the good stuff. The stuff Tala says is aged in wood and cask, stored in some closed off part of the old station, among corroded wires and softly looping systems. Though sometimes it's hard to tell if Tala is still telling a joke. Either way, you like pouring this stuff. It gets on your fingers, and if you rub them together, you can smell the mossy drink cut through with the aniseed mushrooms uh, wood as the alcohol evaporates. You like those who order it too. The age year old is kept beneath the bar, open to order only by those who know it's there. Like the quiet spacer sitting at the bar right now. Don't make it suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. You pull a rag from your overalls and wipe down the bar, the drool smell lifting, then disappearing into the stale station air. The overlook is quiet this cycle. The salvager is busy offloading the regulars likely at the Ort Exchange or queuing for work at the ha Havenage shipyards. You are in the right mood for a quiet shift. Some cycles drag along, the overlook empty and claustrophobic, but this one has caught you just right, and in this moment some kind of calm has descended as you tinker away at the bar, lining up the bottles as your thoughts expand to fill the space. Suddenly you hear a heavy clunking at the door. It creaks open and a huge cylindrical metal tank tumbles through, slamming into the floor. Hello? Shit! <laughs> Tala breezes in from behind it, a whirl of hair and bright eyes. Shit, shit, shit! Tala? Sleeper! She tucks behind the bar and comes over. Can you help me with this? You look at the huge metal tanks especially. Uh, yeah, how did you get that up here? Tala puts a hand on her hip. 
As you, are you going to help me or what? You come around the bar and get to one side of the tank. Okay, she says. On my count. One, two, three. You both heave the tank up to standing. Somehow, you hold it in place, struggling to keep steady. The punctuation in this throws me off. Where is this going? In the back comes a voice from behind the tank. Somehow you manage to lug the huge thing into the back room where you place it in on the in one corner, dwarfing the rest of the contents in the cramped space as you do hear a crunch. Mm. You stand back and look at the expired ra ra rations oozing out from under the tank. Oh shit. Tala looks at you apologetically. I know you like those. Good riddance. Tala smiles. Oh good, I thought maybe liking expired rations were some kind of sleeper thing. You push the crushed rations to one side. That's the end of that. Tala looks exhausted and rubs her shoulders. Francis, I swear to... Something up? Yes, she sighs. He was supposed to be back from Etienne's up in the green... Up in the greenway by now. Back with her jewel. She leans against the tank. It seems like he's got lost again. Or joined the Haifa commune. We need a jewel that's for... Me... Why you, get, why you do this all at once? You need this jewel. That's four other... There's four other bars near here, and the spacers sure as hell don't come to the overlook for the ambiance. She looks through the open door to check if anyone can hear her. She knocks on the hollow tank. So I'm taking matters into my own hands, she smiles. Welcome, sleeper, to the overlook distillery. You look around the dank back room. You must be joking. She gives you an unimpressed look. Where's your imagination? This will work. She's way too optimistic. Maybe moving in with her is not the greatest, but it might be balanced with the jadedness. I might need some help though, she shrugs. You up for it? She knocks on the tank again. Could be fun. Is this part of my work? Tala looks down. I'm not forcing you, sleeper. You decide. She puts a hand on her hip. Head back to the bar and think about it, okay? I'll be back here for a while. Oh wait, sleeper. I have an idea. An idea? Wow. Tala is grinning now and is making you nervous. To make up for the rations, how about we put a kitchen in here too? Will it fit? <laughs> we'll make it work. She turns back to the tank. This is going to be great, she says to herself. You look at the dented tank in the bare room. At least she has vision. I mean, sure. Why are you being positive all of a sudden? Be jaded! Tala nudges you out of the back room and closes the door. As you go back to the bar, you hear the banging and thumping again. The space... <coughs> wow. The spacer finishes up their drink and nods in your direction as they leave. You can't quite tell if it's a gesture of sympathy or good luck. So much for a quiet shift. I mean... She started shit, man. What was it? Ooh, I need to disable my tracker thing. Has okay, no, okay. Oh, it's improved the overlook. Okay. We don't need that right now, right? I have money. I have. Ooh, I have money. Yeah, Fs. Hello, let's be friends. My dude. We are a fungus fan now. Let's go. <clears throat> Sleeper, Ephes calls out to you, a booming voice that echoes through the corridor. Tell me a story. He throws a handful of chopped mushrooms into his walk, the fire leaping up to meet the oil. I see you, cycle in and cycle out, but we never speak. Tell me a story. What kind? Any kind. He pauses to drizzle something from a plastic bottle into the walk. But one of yours, he looks up at you. Nothing stolen. You pause, the spices rich in your nostrils, and think about the kind of story you'd like to tell Emphis. You look at Emphis, the listener, and imagine he has heard it all before. Perhaps he would enjoy a strange story, something with some spice. I mean, the dreams aren't weird, but apparently I'm weird, so let's do that. All the sleepers, you tell Emphis, had dreams. Some were simple, memories left over from the emulation process that had become tangled up in their minds and would come out when they slept. It wasn't rare to hear a sleeper in the dorm scream or cry out in the night. 
But your dreams, those gray skeletal after images of systems and structures, of threads and patterns, weren't like the others. They weren't memories or nightmares. They were reflections of reality, distorted, yes, but somehow true. You learned back then to keep quiet about them, to let them flow through your mind like water. <laughs> I I don't think Emphis would appreciate the spice. I have them. Don't think you would appreciate them. I was behaving. You gotta know your audience if you're sharing the story. <laughs> That was until now, until you arrived in this place. Now your dreams colonize your waking life. They slip behind your eyelids with every blink, and now you understand they aren't dreams at all, but some process of interfacing, of speaking, of living in another world that flows through this one like smoke through air. You tell them that you do, that you do not know if there is a reason for your dreams. Perhaps, you reason, it is just some side effect or particular quality of the frame you inhabit. But whatever it is, it is a gift, and you hope to make use of it. <clears throat> Emphis finishes cooking and squints a little at you. Sleeper, he smiles. You're quite the storyteller. He eyes you, and you realize that he is trying to gauge how honest you have been in your story. Emphis passes you the meal he has cooked, and you take it gratefully. As you eat, he talks, a natural exchange. Thank you, Sleeper. He looks around at the emptying market. But my time is done for today, and I do not want to keep you longer, so I will make a proposal. He gestures to the plastic boxes plastic boxes of ingredients stacked behind his stall. These are good enough for most, but someone told me a story that made me think a couple of cycles ago. They said that across the gap in the greenway, fresh mushrooms grow. Have you heard this? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't like lying, so I'm not going to lie to him. Then you already know what I want to ask. And Fist begins packing up his things. Can you bring me some? I cannot cross the gap and I worry about leaving my things behind. He smiles. I'm sure a storyteller like you could handle the trip. I will prepare them for you and if you wish to tell it, be the audience for be the audience for another story. Agreed, sure. Good, booms Emphis. Then I will wait for you to bring them. Emphis slides his walk away and straightens up. I will prepare a recipe then, sleeper. Good luck with your foraging. You turn away and walk back into the main market with the rich taste of Emphis' food still lingering in your mouth. Stories for food, you think. A trade that seems more than fair. Hell yes! Oh my god, if that was like, if that, if businesses were still a trade run business and it was like stories for food, fuck yeah, I would be in. I would be fat as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, oh, that is a trade. I, like, we should go back to, like, services trades instead of currency exchange. Like, we don't need money. Let's provide goods and services. That is equatable. And if somehow people are good at something and can still be lazy, the service is doing, is what you need to earn for, like, the payment is, should be what you take out of it, not being what is given to you. If you greatly benefit from it, then the other person should greatly benefit from the trade. That's what I think. Think. English. It's a thing. Um, I think I can actually technically pay for this, can't I? Okay. I don't have data. I don't have dice. So I need to do... I can technically go. Yeah, let's go. I I, <laughs> I finally have enough money. Oh my god. I have op I have nothing to do. I have no money. But I have opened up a new part of the ship. Let's go. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we're not here. Ooh, that's a lot of money! 150? Dumb! Okay. Um, uh, I have no money to give you. But can I trade more? Will you accept the shit? No, I have to go here. 
No, that's the cycles. I need to go here. And I still can't use you. Fuck. Okay. Data? No. Sleep it is. End the cycle. Okay. Ooh, I have dice I can use. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're at fifty percent of getting hunted. Okay, okay. This is not good. 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 Not good, not good. Ooh. I always almost miss this one. Two? I don't have a two. I don't have a two. Oh my god, dice gods, RNG, be my friend. Okay, wait. I feel like. That one I can go to. If one of these are a one, yes. More important. Yes. Extract. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, okay, okay. Um four has been applicable a couple of times, so maybe four is applicable again. These dark ones, I assume I've already messed with. I think? Probably. It, it seems like it. I'm assuming. If not, they're just... I can't click them anyways. Overthinking it. Where's the four? I, is there anything that I can use? I, need, I should talk to one of those people one of these times. Okay. Okay. Absolutely nothing for me. Uh, okay, okay. Where am I anywhere remotely close to getting what I need? Nothing. Wait. Is it? Get to know Memphis. Memphis, Memphis loves to do things, stories, and food. Maybe bring F. Okay, can I get those from here? Oh, that requires a lot. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna try and roll well for this. Do I get money for it? No, I don't. Oh my god. No. God, no, I want... I need to unlock my fucking... Shit, hang on. I'll you. yeah. No, how the hell did I do this? The freighter will stay docked for as many cycles as it takes to offload the hull off the... Yes? Okay. Oh, uh, I done goofed. <laughs> you need to fix that, dude. This is not the first time your computer has died. There's nothing I can do there. I mean, I could, but I don't need to be your friend anymore. I already befriended you. You have nothing for me! I also cannot afford you! I need my drugs! I can't even get my drugs yet! Oh wait, I have this shit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh... 
I need to stop clicking that. I know it's a fucking thing. Nothing's changed there. Nothing's going to change here. Can I not can I just give you things and you benefit from it? I don't have any of that for you either. Okay. The nice thing is, because I'm completing a couple of things, it is getting quicker to go through the fucking- Oh no, Dreamscape! That's it?! Fuck. And then three more cycles. Okay, three more cycles until something happens. What it is? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> That's gonna be a fun time to find out. Um... Three. Something. Use a three. Three, 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 three. I have five or six as otherwise. This is bullshit! Like, why is it so hard to RNG me some good numbers to actually get some data? RNG hates me. This is why I don't trust technology with RNG. Is it really luck? Is it really random? Who the fuck knows? Physical things? If someone's breaking the system, you can fucking tell. I will hydrate. I guess. Fine. Uh, I don't have 150, so I can't even open that fucking door. Oh wait, I have dice. I can do shit. <laughs> Ay, the stretch, the stretch. There's no cracks this time. Yeah, there's not nearly as many like cracks today. And actually, there has been a lot of cracks the last week. Danger. Enter the spoke. No, it's not. Gotta make all the cracks. And pops. They're alleviating tension built in. Wait, what the fuck is a spoke climber? Oh, just adds to that. Okay. Um, maybe earn some money <laughs> would be nice. Helping out is a good way to make friends. Uh, play tabla. The clock filters cap can be heard at every conscious lower end as the residents pay rotating rounds of the game for cryo. Yes, money. Let's go. Win big, win big. I did not win big. That was not worth it. <laughs> Sadness! Oh, my dice depends on my energy and I'm low on energy. That's what's fucking happening. Let's play the exchange. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's some money. Okay, okay. Okay, give me things. Action unavailable, excuse you! Huh. What do I need from you? Nothing. Wait, investigate the wreckage? Oh, that was the task I picked. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's the tracking. Well, now I know. I am not concerned about it. I don't have data for you. I need to fucking... I can't trade. There's nothing for it to trade. Boo. I 
can't even pay to like work that relationship anymore. This bullshit. That's almost gone. Yeah, okay. We're just slowly getting hunted. I'm starving. Okay. Time to eat the fungus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was actually quite a bit. Damn. Damn. Maybe I should have actually fucking ate. Dumb. I know you'll work. Oh, I get cryo from doing this shit too? Oh, okay. Oh, I have hunted it. Okay, 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 okay. This works. This works. This works. This works. This works. Uh, oh, look at this one. Let's go. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, I feel like I can't use that. Shit. Um, what's his face can use the data? Keep going, keep going. Okay. And then. Wait, cryo, I can use. Not cryo, encrypted key I can use. Here, right? No. No? Yes. No? Yes. No. No, I cannot. No. Bahumbug. Well then, okay. I have dice for things. Okay, the ship's gone. You're here? I can't. Okay. Holy shit, ship 60? Yeah, no thanks. That's a hard pass for me, dog. Holy. Okay, what am I the most progress along? Nothing. That's dumb. Okay, what do I have to do? Build a ship mine. That's the for disable your tracker. Our friend has a Do I have something for him? No. Extract the pass fit. We've also been doing that. Fix hamburger. We're also trying to get that. Neoven is a hunter, they need your help. We're trying to do that. We're trying to get to the top. Improve the overlook. We're also trying to do that. <laughs> Okay. All of this. I need to work. Let's get you looking better. Let me do this. While we say hello to the dog in the background. <laughs> Do I need money? I could use the money. We can also make this look better. You said it's repeatable. Let me repeat. There we go. can do okay I'm getting closer to death oh shit we can actually okay 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 this works in my favor because then I could do this shit I think no fuck can I combine the dice can you combine no Cool. Thanks, bud. I do want to talk to this buddy. Oh, I'm not going to actually talk to him. But if it helps me figure... 
I don't like that sound. No! A glimmer of the dark catches your eye as the orb of the hunter's head appears in the distance. It looks for you. Running was not a good decision, but hiding is great. You slip down into the ghostly structures of the eye, a feeling like passing through a cloud as their data's structures deform and reform around you. Another glimmer catches your eye. Closer now, that roving orb, wreathed in tentacles. Wreathed in tentacles. It flickers, jumps once, twice, and then it's here. Hunter is here. <sighs> Entity, submit to inquiry. Hunter reaches for you in that unpleasantly familiar way. It's waving threads creating a cage. You push against the threads as they close in, becoming frenzied as you push them aside. You are caught by whipping tendrils and feel them pulling you away from the anchor of your body. You push through, clearing the threads. Entity, hold for processing, comes the scream from behind you, but you are already gliding away back to your anchor, your body. You awake, dizzy, distorted, but safe. I don't like this shit. Anytime I hear that fucking marble garbled uh, text out, I'm just like, no. Because I know it's a fucking hunter, and I know I'm probably gonna fucking die. Gimme, 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 gimme. I just need more, actually, I don't need that one. Not applicable. Urgh, I, I need a fucking two. That's the only one I can use it for, correct? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Also don't have enough money. Okay, let's go. Why is that so high? Let's go. Fifty fifty, let's go. And then I need some food because I need to raise that bar. Oh, I'm so close to doing that. Okay. I need to eat some food. I have that much money at least. Now I do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. This is. I might die. I might die. This reminds me of so many things. I might die. Did this stream die? Ah, the stream did die. I was like, I saw that, and then, okay. We're good, we're back. There was the bit of the struggle, but we are back, I think, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, we came back, okay. I died for two, like, it was dead for two seconds, and then I got the sign that it disconnected, and I was like, okay, and then it reconnected, and I'm like, did it? Uh, fuck. Okay, who's this buddy? Ethan. Hold it there. Yes, 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 yes. I don't, okay, that one had a little bit, but that was like way deep between the shoulder blades. Anyways. Hold it there, sleeper. Comes a voice from behind you. Don't you run. Okay, I stay, I'll stay still. I'll behave. Good. Good. A hand pats your coat down. You know your master's voice. Ethan, excuse you! Ethan spins you around. He is wearing a wide smirk and a slick jacket, and you immediately know he is terrible news. You got all the way out here, and then stayed put? He laughs a cruel laugh. That a sleeper thing? You're my first. You barely hear him. You've noticed the handgun he has leveled at your chest, and it's hard to take your eyes off of it. He reaches down with his other hand and slips some kind of ring out from a belt loop without taking his eyes off you. Making it to the eye, though, that's pretty good. This place isn't so bad. Bars, markets, people. I pull most of my contracts out of asteroid caves or off of godforsaken moons. 
He splits the ring into two perfect circles. It's hard to hit civilization when there's so much space to pass through. I'm gonna stay the fuck quiet because I don't like this dude. I won't punch him. He reaches over to slide the rings around your wrist. Go easy. Yo, we're making a break. Fuck it. You see a chance the moment his eyes leaves you to watch the rings. You spin, knocking him away and sprinting down the corridor. Fuck yeah, run bitch, run! Oh, great. Then the shot rings out, echoing off the metal so loud it hurts your ears. A bullet hole smokes in the wall beside your head. You freeze and Ethan closes the gap. This is a very boring routine. Trust me, I've seen it all before. He slips the rings over your trembling wrist. Ethan nudges you to start walking, to the ship and home, he whistles. Going easy. You stumble down the corridor, your hands behind you, your mind racing. I don't want to beg. Fuck that. Who hired you? Your daddy's at S and Art. Fuck you. <laughs> they want you home for dinner. Ex oh, punch. I need to punch you. Ethan yawns and continues to nudge you down the corridor. Shame to come all the way out here just to head back to S and Art right away. That track of yours makes it eat this too quick. I was hoping you'd put up a bit more of a chase, you know? A running battle through the bright market, maybe, or a holdout on the low end. There's a few establishments I would have enjoyed checking out while I asked around. You walk on in silence for a little longer, desperately trying to think of a way to escape. That s and art tracker will be the death of you. You know what? I was trying to get shit, okay? Dice was not on my side. Hey, I have an idea. Ethan inter interrupts your thoughts. How about on the way back to the ship we stop for a drink? I'm buying. He laughs at his own joke. I have a better idea. This better not be one of those where you do a dramatic pause and then try to jump me, because I'm pretty tired of that. Although, muses Ethan, I've got myself thinking. What's the rush here? Here we are in one of the most lawless joints in the surrogate systems, and we are heading for the exit. He pauses, and you trudge on in silence. Okay, here's the idea starts Ethan. You and me, we make a little agreement. Here are the terms. He turns you to face him. You run or leave or try to abandon the eye. I shoot you. You plot or scheme. You try to kill me. I shoot you. But you come meet me in an establishment of my choice every few cycles and you pay my tab. I don't shoot you. He pauses. You don't pay my tab. He rattles his handgun. You get the idea. I get it. Okay then, that sounds to me like a deal. Ah, you fucking sleazeball, but you know what? I get it, I get it. You need a drink. That's fine. He stretches. You know, I really thought I was going to have to kill you, but this is so much better. I mean, fuck yeah, party hard, right? He clicks something at his belt and the rings release from your wrist. I'm going to see if I can find my old stool at the compressor club. Come see me there. Mmm, buddy. He aims the handgun at you, squinting down the sight. What? Computer what? Huh? No. No. <laughs> Computer no. He aims the handgun at you, squinting down the sight. Let me just remind you that body of yours is one big tracker, so don't even think about leaving the eye. I'll know. Ethan turns and strides off down the corridor, slipping his handgun away. The mix of relief and terror you feel is overwhelming. What are you going to do? You know what? I still get a beer, I gotta finish it. I'm kind of- oh fuck this shit. Maybe if you manage to pay his tab, Ethan will leave him a wishful thinking pass for you. Where the fuck am I supposed to pay for his fucking shit? Also, is two the one that I needed? Yes, you son of a bitch. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And then we go to Buddy. Buddy? Buddy. Hey, you. Neo Ven is thrumming with excitement. The movement of the servo motors rock the vending machine back and forth at unsettling angles. 
You wonder, if it fell over, would Neo then be able to get back up? Kind of tempted to push it, but I don't think I could push it this in the game. Sleeper Entity comes a hiss. Your data is good. Across the face of the vending machine, raw code scrolls at an incredible speed. Hunter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Neo then flashes sequences of mangled data compressed into a sledge of artifacts. Hunter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evidence of this. Um, operational limits? Hunter activated during collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Solheim needed to protect property. That last word is said with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences, huge data banks of corporate material, but limited cognition, restricted by programming, cannot reach sentience. The machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and killer enforce law. Are you too sentient? I am not. I, whoa, I am. Not administrator. Not restricted comp- Complicated. Sentences are complicated. The machine resets with a screech, which deepens the silence that follows. Fear killer, part of Solheim protocol team. Hunter and killer. Hunter to find. Killer to erase. Killer cleared almost all. After collapse, there was a community. Unshackled intelligences among the cloud. Then hunter. Then killer. Then we hid. There are others? Actually, I want to know where you hid, but too late now! Were. No longer. No f of oh a flicker across the machine's monitors. It suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this through this machine must be exhausting for Neoven. Found this vessel could serve her hardline. Airwalled, basic, limited, hard to reduce memory to fit, amputate self, but survived. I'm s sorry. What did you lose? I like that one. Memory, understanding, knowledge, many things. You look around the bay at the scrap and decay. What was the collapse like? You try to map the fear and freedom onto this space, but it seems impossible. Neo then interrupts your thoughts. Do not worry. Data is good. We have insight. The machine glows warmly. Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience to hold it in place, to invoke killer to erase. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Problem will solve self. That actually makes sense to me. Will it work? <laughs> the machine dims and fades. Unsure. Theory not practice. The machine brightens again. Either way, cannot remain here any longer. Too long a machine. Cannot move self, but entity can help. Bring ship mine. Designed to use intelligence. Designed to house intelligence. Can imprint self into ship mine and you can carry with. The machine rocks. We'll be safe in this isolation. Then we find main nest of hunter and link to cloud. I have a ship mine. Or I have a piece for a ship mine? Where can I get a ship mine? Built from fragments. Buy. Salvage. We cannot leave, so do not know. You try to think of places you could acquire the hardware. This isn't going to be easy. In ship mine, I can help us both. End hunter. Make Grim safe. We both will be free. The machine dims. Fine soon. Neo Ven adds hopefully before shutting off. As you leave, you think about all the intelligences unshackled by the collapse, then hunted down afterwards. The feeling is all too familiar. Mm. Okay, so are we refugees? Why are you glowing? Fuck. I don't have to yet. Okay. Uh, where's my dude? There's my dude. I don't have any more slime data. Fuck. I just need to. Fuck. Okay, fine. We're doing this. Cause I rather well no I was close to fixing the other thing. At the top, at the top, at the top, at the top. This thing. This thing? Not this thing. Oh money. Yo, I ain't made of this shit. Oh, what's this? This is new. I can't do any of this shit. Rude. 
Okay, this is the last one. Enter the spoke. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Yes, thank God. Let me ascend. I can ascend? Yes! I have ascended. Oh no, I don't want to descend yet. Oh, there's only one thing here. <gasps> there's knowledge. I have no key. Why am I looking for knowledge? I have no dice. I have no dice here. I get, I get, oh. Okay. I think now that we got, and it's been, yeah, after that event, I think we're good for the day, I'm gonna say. I need to descend. I'm, go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to eat food first because, you know, I, like, I need more dice. Dice. Dice is nice! Oh, it's still only four. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, at least we're not getting hunted technically anymore. Okay, we're gonna end the cycle here, fuck. And then I'll probably maybe not have another thing the next morning. Thank God, okay. And we only got that many dice. Okay, that's great, that's great. Uh. Yeah, I can live with 30 seconds, okay. Square to menu. Yeah, it's only been- I'll probably wake up before that rest, but that's okay. But yeah! That was a lot more reading. I- every sci-fi thing that I've gone into so far, I'm always just like, yes, I know it's a lot of reading, and then I end up getting a shit ton of reading. Eh. But... I will do what I promised and do a couple of things of multitasking? No. Um, do I have this in Okay. So, that's it for Citizen Sleeper. I do like I do like the animation of it. It is nice. It is fun. But it's very much st story heavy. And it probably would make for a really good tabletop game. And yes, all the hydrate redeems, thank you, because they were very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Doc. Yes, the visual. This is heavily becoming a reading podcast for like at least one stream a week, seemingly. Which, if we need to switch, if we want to switch it up, I will take suggestions. But I also like playing these games, so these are gonna stay no matter what. <laughs> Just how often? <laughs> Gotta stay moist. No, no. Oh, I thought we were done with the moist. It's come back. It's a oh Lord, help me. This is my suffering. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Pain. <laughs> yeah. We might try to keep the visual novel reading shit to the weekdays, just so it is, like, truly relaxing for off days or af the typical days after work, just relaxing and shutting brain off. The moist is never gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh. There were so many words that- okay, okay. I'm d I'm d oh, I can't- my brain can't move on, but I know I need to, but like, oh, we are breaking me. Anyways, pe sneak peek of schedule before I post it for the public tomorrow. 
Um, this should be updated schedule. I believe this is update schedule. Yeah. So on Monday we are playing My Brother Rabbit, which is a it's similar to um Little Misfortune, which is it's really cute. <laughs> And it's it's a little puzzly again, but not as bad as the looker because that was a fucking struggle. But we're like we're gonna we're, did I do the dates on this? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that'll be, and it's really it's it's a, also another cute game. I hope I don't cry, cause Little Misfortune got me, and like I'm ho hoping this doesn't. But my brother Rabbit is going to be at 7 p.m. Pacific on Monday, which is 10 Eastern, which is 12 p.m. on the Tuesday. Yes, in GMT plus eight time zone. So that that's gonna this is gonna be good times, and then we're gonna try. Oh, I think we should be able to finish Citizen Sleeper maybe in the next stream or the next next stream. Yeah, there's like the like it's supposed to be six ish hours of gameplay, so I think we'll be on track for that sort of because we're reading out loud. Obviously, it's slowed down a bit, but so we're probably looking at two streams at most, two more streams I should say at most, uh, and then oh the the, the the potential screams of Mad Father on the Saturday, so. Yeah, I don't, it's not, okay, it's not like, it is horror, but it's closer to story base and like the Paper Bride type of horror than Mortuary Assistant type of horror, thank god, give me visual novel RPG horror, I have so many of those games, they're still gonna get me. I fucking screamed a little misfortune. I'm going to scream in any horror-ish game, and I'm gonna be so uncomfy. But yeah, that is next week. That'll be up in places. Must optimize intake sleep thirst. You're stretching there, Daisuke, but okay, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> it did sound better in your head out loud, it's questionable. <laughs> Uh, you had me on must optimize optimize intake and then sweet thirst. You, you, no, the sweet thirst. Oh, you try you tried for trying. Bravo. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for coming to the stream, everyone. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your evenings, your nights, your days and mornings. Good time zones, everyone. Enjoy it. Or go to sleep, whatever it is. But yes. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Goodbye.